Hello everybody, this is the Happy Cabby. I just got off the phone with uh, Budweiser. I'll let you listen to the uh, phone call in just a few seconds. Uh, for the record, uh, leave their contact information down below. One of the first things they tell you is that their phone calls are all recorded, so therefore I'm recording as well, which of course is perfectly legal to do in the state of Arizona, just in case anybody's curious. But nevertheless, this is regarding uh, the Budweiser advertisement endorsing Snapper Fest, um, which I'm going to be doing a much longer video on in just a few days. But nevertheless, I wanted to make this video addressing the use of the Budweiser logo at Snapper Fest. Now, for those of you who do not know what Snapper Fest is, let me go ahead and describe it to you. It's basically where you uh, take a snapper turtle, um, you grab it out of the tank by its tail, you run across a short distance, probably maybe like, um, you know, 100 yards, something like that. You slam it down to the ground. You take your hand. You reach in there and grab its head, yank it out, then take, then take your other hand, grab it by the neck, hold it up here, and go, yay, you know, while the crowds cheer. Uh, this, of course, is uh, very traumatic uh, to the turtles. Um, and then, of course, also in one video that I'm going to be uploading uh, very shortly, uh, this also can be fatal. There's actually a clip that I have of where you can see uh, one of the judges having to sever the turtle's head because he just wouldn't let go of the person that was attacking him. But nevertheless, uh, my video is about this logo right over here, which you can see very clearly shows Budweiser supporting Snapperfest. Now, if you were to call Budweiser, which of course their contact information is down below, uh, they will tell you that they had no knowledge of the event, they did not endorse the event, neither them nor their local distributor endorsed the, the event. However, as you can see through the phone call, when I tried to pressure them to put out a press release condemning the event, they refused to do so. I also brought up the analogy, well, what's to stop me from slapping a Budweiser logo on whatever thing I want to promote? Like, say, maybe you want to be animal fights, like a dog fight or a chicken fight something like that, apparently they can get away with it. They're not, they're not interested in investigating who was responsible for printing the, uh, the banner, who was responsible for paying for the banner. They're not interested in that. So therefore, in my opinion, uh, we need to put out some uh, little pressure on them to come out publicly with the press release condemning Snapperfest and also take steps in the future to prevent the use of their logo being used for future animal torture events. Anyway, enjoy the phone call. Okay, great. Uh, looks like you. Uh, and uh, who am I talking to again? Uh, my name is Reed. Reed? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, we uh, uh, appreciate you, uh, you know, getting us some details here. And uh, let's see what we got here. All right, you're doing a documentary on it. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll, I'll kind of let you know all the details we got here. Let me go ahead and kind of follow up on this. All right, so basically, uh, I guess some of the questions, did you send in like a Q&A, is that kind of what it was? Uh, basically, I called uh, because I was uh, wanting to know uh, why you guys were sponsoring Snapperfest. Now, I was told uh, the last time that I called that it was your guys' position that you were not sponsoring Snapperfest, but... Okay. The question arises, how is it that the the banner came to be? I mean, did you ever find out who printed it, who authorized it, stuff like that? Yeah, uh, I'll get you all the details here. Um, basically, we weren't aware of this event, and uh, we looked into it more. Uh, neither Anheuser-Busch nor our wholesalers who usually handle sponsorships uh, or sponsor a snap or fest. Now, the Budweiser banner, that was actually brought to the event by a local retailer. Uh, without our knowledge, so we didn't even know about it till you know people started calling us here. Uh, Do you know uh, which local retailer was responsible for printing it? Because it wasn't just your banner. This was a custom-made banner that had the Budweiser logo and Snapperfest on the same banner. So this had to been done at some professional print shop somewhere. Gotcha. I mean, that's a possibility. Um, from what we know, the Budweiser banner was made by an independent wholesaler um, and brought to the event by a retailer, you know, without our knowledge or consent. Did you ever find out which retailer that was? Uh, we do not have that information there on that. Um, basically, the wholesaler wasn't familiar with the activities, you know, that take place at the event when the sign was made. And uh, we, we didn't have any knowledge on that banner until the event on that. 
Okay. Uh, the question is, is has um, Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser, have they issued some kind of press release uh, denouncing uh, Snapperfest that I can uh, direct people to? Uh, we don't have anything uh, in print at this time. Would you consider putting something in print to that effect? I could forward that along, but, um, you know, since we really not involved in it at all, it's something that doesn't... My only concern is, you know, because people like me are trying to put an end to Snapperfest. Do, do you know what Snapperfest is? Sure. I, I, yeah, I did get a, kind of a brief overview of what it was there. Okay. Uh, just so we're clear, we're talking about... Uh, now, first of all, if you were to ask any bio, bio, the biologist is the wrong word, but um, a, a zoologist, somebody who specializes in, in animals, they will tell you that grabbing a, a snapper turtle by the tail is actually harmful to them. Uh, basically, they, they grab them by the tail from the tank, they slam them down to the ground, reach in and uh, pull their heads out uh, to the point where they can grasp their hands around the turtle's neck and then they lift them up high into the air like, yay, look at me. Um, gotcha. And th this can, can be fatal to many turtles and in fact in one video uh, <clears throat> that was posted on the internet you can actually see a, um, a snapper event going wrong in which they actually had to cut the turtle's head off. Mm -hmm. uh, now, my question is, Is what steps is uh, Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser uh, taking to ensure that their logos do not appear on next year's Snapperfest event? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. Because, I mean, for example, if it's possible that I could um, take your logo and just place it on, for example, like a cockfight, for example, sure. uh, that's something you guys obviously don't want. Um, you know, so what steps are you taking to ensure that you have more control over the use of your logo, your company name, and stuff like that? Sure. Uh, that's definitely a great question. Um, I'd probably have to reach out to a few departments on that that are, you know, more of experts on it than I am. Um, I'd be more than happy to do that for you and, uh, you know, kind of get you some details there, happy if you like. Um, uh, so basically, I'd like to know what steps we're taking to prevent our logo from being used in the future there at Snapper Fast, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then also, um, we want to work on a, um, a press release uh, of you guys saying that uh, the use of your logo was not authorized uh, by Snapper Fest. Okay. And furthermore, I, in my opinion, it would be a good idea because it's not a very large town. So, you know, it wouldn't take that much investigation. In fact, I could probably find out who did it in probably less than an hour as far as who was responsible for printing. And that's just me, one guy. I mean, you're an entire corporation. So just, okay. I mean, just look it up in the phone books, what print shops are in that town, call, find out who the print shop was, and then just have your lawyer just send them a threatening letter, you know, stuff like that, and say, don't use our logo without our permission. Well, uh, you know, I wanted to go ahead and uh, I'll see if I can get you in touch with someone real quick that uh, might have some more information on kind of the steps we're taking. So uh, if you don't mind, happy, uh, I'm just going to put you on a brief hold and I'll see if I can get someone on the line, okay? Yeah, sure. Hey, thanks for holding happy. I appreciate it. Um, I reached out to a few folks there. Um, basically said that all the information that we've given you is pretty much, you know, everything that um, there is to discuss on the topic at this time. But, uh, you know, basically they just want to clarify that we're not involved with it, neither are our wholesaler, but there's really no other details that, um, you know, are coming out of this. Is there going to be a, um, a press release uh, issued on this? Uh, I haven't heard of any plans on that, no. Yeah. It looks like, you know, basically what I told you is basically kind of what happened, and uh, but otherwise, you know, we don't have any. That's basically all we have to share, though. Okay. Um, do you believe that a press release should be issued uh, due to um, you know the public outcry that's been going on uh, regarding uh, you know the the use of the Budweiser logo on a uh, an event that you know clearly would be illegal in just about any other part of the country? Uh, like I said, you know that's all we you know basically what I've said. That's all we have to share on the topic. So um, you know. Any other questions, you know, basically what we have is, you know, basically all the info uh, we have there for you. Okay. And uh, Brandon, uh, what is uh, your last name? Uh, 
not, I'm not allowed to get that out. Uh, what is your uh, position, title? Sure, um, you know, that's kind of a privacy issue, so we usually don't get that out. I'll let you know my name is Reed, though. Okay. But, um, you know, like I said, you know, Banner is made by an independent wholesaler. Looks like the retailer, one of the retailers took it to the event, and that's kind of how it showed up. But that's all the information that we have at this time. Okay, um, do you know the name of the person that would be in charge of, like, public relations for your company? Uh, I do not. Um, I mean, basically, but that, I mean, basically that's all the information we have to share, though, Happy. I mean, basically what I told you is what happened, but, you know, nothing else on that. Okay, and, um... Uh... I do really wish that, uh, the Budweiser would, uh, you know be a little bit, you know, cause I, I'm not, I'm not satisfied, you know, because, you know, I mean, theoretically, you know, I could put your logo on a, on a dog fight, you know, and not face any retaliation for it is basically the, 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 what, what I'm, what I'm feeling here. Sure. And, uh, I definitely understand that. Um, yeah, it's something that I'll document and share with our team, but you know, that's all the information we have at this time. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks again, Happy. Uh, I appreciate you calling us up about this. And uh, if there's anything we can do for in the future, uh, don't hesitate to call, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.